Hi, welcome to another masterclass for ARC Magazine. I'm Olivia, a welding instructor at Lincoln Electric's Welding Technology and Training Center. Today I'm going to be discussing vertical up and vertical down progression. Okay, I'm going to start by talking about vertical down, uh, which is usually done on uh, material that is 3 16 or less in thickness. The reason for this is that you have a faster travel speed, slightly less penetration, um, it looks better, plus it's less time consuming and won't cause as much distortion. So to do a vertical down weld, first I'm going to do a dry run, my machine is off. I'm going to start by striking off at the top of the plate and then you can either do a straight drag or a slight weave back and forth, almost more of like a beer shake than a weave as you're going down. It's gonna be a pretty fast pace um, and you wanna keep a very tight arc. Some people prefer to keep a shorter arc and turn the amperage up a little bit higher and some like to keep a slightly longer arc, maybe their amperage a little bit lower. So I'm one of those people that likes to keep a shorter arc with my amperage a little lower. I'm gonna run it about 90 amps for the 10 gauge that I'm using. So now I'm going to turn my machine on and demonstrate a vertical down weld. Since I'm using a 10 gauge plate, I'm only gonna be using a 1 8 uh, 6010 electrode. And again, I'm just gonna strike off at the top and watch the, the puddle on top of my rod the entire way down. You start with a slight weave. The puddle has a bit of a point on the top, so I'm going to slow it down. Keep a short arc length, and now I'm just going to go into a straight drag. And watch the puddle the whole way. As long as my puddle's round, it should wash into the base metal and keep the weld fairly flat. The slag should basically just kind of puff up on top. There's no need to beat the slag off of it. I could easily just scrape it. down welding is much easier for people than vertical up. It's also faster, less time consuming, and you don't run the risk of having burn through or any other distortion or defects. Now I'm going to be discussing vertical up welding. Uh, typically vertical up is done on material that is a quarter of an inch or over. It has a higher heat input, slower cooling rates, uh, slower travel speed, and generally more penetration and a higher weld deposit. So I'm going to do another dry run for this. My machine is off. The first pass on a vertical up weld with 6010, you can either use a straight whip or I prefer doing an inverted T, which is basically like a straight whip, only I'm just doing a left to right, then up motion. So, I've switched to a 532nd 6010 electrode. Um, as I start out at the bottom, working my way up, I'm going to hit left, right, and then whip up to let the puddle cool as I make my way up the plate. I'm gonna keep a pretty short arc, about 1 8 and try to stay as consistent as possible. My machine is on, I'm at DC positive around 124 amps. So I'm just going left and right up the plate, pausing on each side and whipping up. Now that I've finished
finish my first pass vertical up. Sometimes a first pass can be slightly convex, a little lumpy, so you may want to go over it with a second pass, um, either using a box weave or a straight weave. I prefer the box, but it's really up to you. up this masterclass for ARC Magazine. See you next time.